Back with the Senate President, Stan Rosenberg, and the OTR Pop Quiz. He's two for two. We're sailing right through it. We haven't had an immigrant first lady since John Quincy Adams' wife in the 19th century. Where is Melania Trump from? Well, it's uh, somewhere in South Central America, but I don't know the exact country. No, it's actually in Sol Slovenia. Oh, Slovenia. Oh, my God. She's a former <laughs> model. <laughs> Wrong country. <laughs> All right. Wrong country. Here's the last one. Michelle Obama made nutrition and exercise a focus in her eight years in the White House. What did Melania Trump say her cause would be as first lady? <sighs> no idea. Maybe... Uh, uh, making sure that Donald Trump doesn't make too many mistakes. Well, actually, that's kind of close because cyberbullying is... Oh. But she was talking about cyberbullying of yeah. children. You know, no, actually, you know, that's, so. a, that's a good call. All right, you're off the, you're off the hot seat. So, Thank you. Um, Governor Baker uh, was on the opposite end of two questions from you. He uh, was against legalization of marijuana, and he, was, he wanted the uh, lift on Charges. the charters. Yeah. You are just the opposite. Did he put too much political capital into these b ballot questions? He, uh, he did a lot of work on those, uh, and uh, he told me that he put even more work into no one won. That was a joke at lunch one day. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, we, there's a lot of work left to be done. Uh, he knows we've got to look at education uh, when we come back into the formal sessions in January, and he knows we have to implement uh, marijuana. So the election is now behind us. Now we're looking forward about what do we need to do to to uh, implement marijuana properly, and what are we going to do for education but reform did he make a mistake? Did he make a mistake oh, by I, coming I, out so strongly? He, he did what he felt was right, and uh, I, I don't try to prejudge or, or uh, uh, some Monday morning quarterback his decisions. Yeah, and while charter schools did fail, it became clear that there was a backlog of demand in the city. So can the legislature learn from it, do something about it? So uh, the Senate put uh, a, a debate on the table during the charter debate because we didn't have the votes to just do more charters. So we reframed the conversation in the Senate and we put uh, legislation through that uh, didn't get all the way through the process. But it basically said, let's refocus the conversation on 100% of the children. Let's recognize that education reform 1.0 that we did in the mid 90s worked, but there are still some gaps. And let's also recognize that after 20 years of uh, charter schools being present, uh, there are best practices in the charter schools that should be universal, which aren't. And that would address a lot of the problems people have with it. But most importantly, it's about the funding. It's all about the money. The money follows the child at this point, and it leaves uh, stressful situations in the school systems from which the children uh, migrate to the charters. So we said, let's link the creation of more innovation seats, whether they're in Commonwealth charters, Horace Mann charters, or innovation schools, to increases mm -hmm. in funding. Mm -hmm. Do you see eventually down the road some of the, maybe the uh, pot money going towards schools? Uh, if there were a decision to uh, collect more than we need to implement it, that would be a, a reasonable use. But I see the bigger question is, will the millionaire's tax pass? Because all of that money is going to be earmarked for education and transportation. And that's the scale of the kind of money we need to improve those two things to support our economy and to uh, uh, maintain uh, what we need to do going forward. The Senate President Stanley Rosenberg has been our guest on the record this morning. Here, sir, let me it let goes you have so that fast. because you asked for that, so <laughs> I thought so I would fast. give it you to you right could, now. Uh, next time, <laughs> we do a half an hour and no pop quiz. <laughs> As we continue, the nasty past. How will Senator Elizabeth Warren deal with now President Elect Trump? A small, insecure money grubber who doesn't care who gets hurt.